In this video, we're going to be looking at Vault on Solana. It's a new platform that features vaults from different artists. Hey everyone, this is Barry from NFT Music Info. I hope you are well. So this vault I've been very excited about. So it's called vault.fan if you wanted to access it. And there's lots of different vaults on here. What I mean by vault is it's basically exclusive material that only people with a key can actually uh, view. So there's a lot going for this. Yeah, it's quite similar to Patreon in, in many ways. So let's take a quick look. So these are all of the new and exclusive drops available at the moment. And what an artist can do, they can connect their wallet with Solana. So I use Phantom to connect to it, which is a Chrome extension. And that's a Solana digital wallet in effect. And what you can then do is you can create your own vault quite easily actually, and it's it's very cheap on gas fees. That's what I found. If you're interested in setting it up, I really encourage you to check out Tom Dupree III's video on YouTube. He's done some amazing videos on, on stuff for musicians and artists. So yeah, make sure you check that out. But what you can see, I've actually set up two different vaults here. When you create your vault, what you can then do is download the app on your mobile phone. And then what that enables you to do is actually upload the content via the mobile phone. So after I've introduced it on via the PC or Mac, MacBook Air, I will um, show you the phone just so that you get an idea of uh, how that works. So yeah, so I've got two different vaults on here. You don't have access to them via your laptop or anything. You use your mobile phone to actually do that. But you can see there's quite a few different artists on here. You can see there's various different ones here. There's Tom Dupree the Third's Dark Light album vault here. There's also Grifter, I've, I've bought Grifter's Key. I'm really interested in this stuff. GJ Art is another kind of synthwave artist, which I'm quite interested in actually. But yeah, it's built on the Solana blockchain, which is quite good because I think Solana is growing in popularity now, particularly as Ethereum is so expensive, it's good to have an alternative. And certainly Solana seems to be a good blockchain to use. They say it's built on the carbon neutral Solana blockchain. It's very, performant with high speeds and low costs. So it's fast, cheap and green. And it's via the Solana Foundation via the company. And yeah, I just think this is great. The app is on the App Store and the Google Play Store as well. So you've got a vault for creators and a vault for fans. So the creators build, so artists create a vault of exclusive content filled with music, videos, photos, messages, VIP invitations and, and more. You can put links in as well, which I think is really cool. Fans then buy from a limited supply of keys to unlock the vault and access the content inside. And then artists get to keep 90% of the revenue plus a royalty on all secondary sales. Fans can collect, trade or sell the keys. So you can include things like music, videos, photos, links and VIP access which is great. So if I have a quick look at the creator dashboard, you'll see that I've then got my vaults here. So I've done them for 0.15, which is the lowest um, fee that you can charge currently on vault. And you can see I've set up two different ones. So I've got 200 keys for each. So once they're sold out, that's it. And I've already sold one of each, which is great, considering it's just half a day gone. I'm really pleased about that. So because I do very different music, I do synth pop music, and I do EDM music via a different name, I've decided to do a call myself Cyber, not to confuse anything, because originally this was saying Cyber Monday for Cyber Friday, which was just too confusing. So I've got Cyber as both, which is my profile, and you've got Cyber Monday for my synth pop material, and Cyber Friday from my um, EDM house techno acid material. So yeah. So let's have a quick look, shall we? So if I click on one of them, you'll see this is kind of, the preview page for anybody that's interested. Yeah, so what it shows on here, you've got the category of what it is, what you actually get inside the vault, how many keys are available, and what the Solana price is for purchasing that key. What I really love about this is you can buy with Solana, you can buy in the app, you can pay with PayPal. So for any fans wanting to buy your key, they don't have to have cryptocurrency, which I just think is perfect just makes things so much easier so many people have paypal accounts don't they the site has been seen in forbes and crypto news it's got quite a high app store rating as well and it goes here that it's a creator platform that allows artists to package up their work as a vault it's all built on the latest blockchain technology and the keys to the vault are fully tradable nfts which is interesting because you wouldn't think that they're nfts they don't feel like nfts but they are because they're on the blockchain 
So they go on to say what NFTs are, why are you, NFTs useful? We should use Vault because it's to help support artists and creators. They get 90% back, which is much higher than other platforms. We believe that the artists should be paid fairly for their work and earn revenue each time a key is sold, which I think is good. And the advertising revenue, revenue models of social platforms aren't the best solution for fans. By using Solana, it's a carbon neutral network. Solana is the underlying blockchain that we use for NFTs, which is sold the native currency on the blockchain. So yeah, you need a crypto wallet like Phantom. And what is Web3? Oh yes, they go on to Web3 there as well. There is a frequently asked questions if you need any support. We've also got the team here. So their mission is to revolutionize the relationship between creators and their fans. And I think they're certainly doing that. Um, so this can be suitable for musicians, writers, photographers, and NFT artists as well. And they've got a huge team. It's really refreshing to see because typically on a lot of projects, you don't get a lot of members of a team. You may get three or four. So it's, it's nice to see that there's a lot of people onboarded in this team. Lots of advisors and, and people. They've got investors as well. And you can get in touch with them as well. So on the creator profile, I'm able to change my picture. I add my picture and a header. And then this is where you can edit your profile. So now that I've shown you the website version, I'm going to go into the app now. So um, let's check it out. Okay, so I'm on my mobile device now. So I'm going to click on the app vault, which you can download from the Play Store or the um, Apple Store. So here are my two different vaults. As you can see on my vaults, it's there. If I click on my keys, you can see those are the keys that I've actually got access to at the moment. And you've got a featured section here for everybody that's uh, got their own vaults that you're able to actually join, which is quite cool. So there you can see on there currently at the top. So when you go into your vault, what I really like about this, it's the same kind of thing. So if I click on Cyber Friday, as an example, I can go to the very beginning. So this is where you can add content. So I've got a kind of thank you and everything on there and you can click on it for more information. I've then got some uh, video tracks on here, Discord access. I've got the free EP download photo of me, just to let them know that there's two vaults. And my back catalog video, and let's say I just want to add some content. So I click on add content at the bottom and then you'll see I can select from add image, add video or add audio. So I've literally just done a video. So I'm going to click add video, media library. I'm going to select the video that I want to upload. And what it'll now do, it'll start uploading that and then you can enter a caption in here. Thank you for supporting me. Lots more to come. And you just wait for the video to upload. It can take a bit of time. And then what happens when it's done, you can actually post content that will be enabled. Or you can save draft as well if you want to come back to it later to add a bit more information. And in the caption, this is where you can actually put in links. It might be access to a Google Drive server or it could be access to Discord invite code or something along those lines. Okay, so there you go. So I can now click on post content and it's actually going to process that and save that to my feed, which is great. If I wanted to um, provide a kind of share link, I can do that by clicking on the padlock, uh, sorry, the key at the top, and then it'll actually load how much it's going to cost, what people get, and you can click buy vault key and also share that via the top right icon. So yeah, it's just super, super easy to use. I really like it. In the Cyber Monday one, but yeah, I've got a thank you message. I've got a free download to an album, Discord access, photos. And back catalogue and my message and there's lots more to come as well and as soon as I do a video or a new update then they'll actually receive a notification via the app so so exciting I really hope you like this and I will speak to you on the next video take care bye